Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this elegant text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation, width is going to be 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration I am going to choose 10 seconds only and background color you are free to choose whatever color you want, I am going to choose black color and hit ok and hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Then press ctrl y to create a solid background layer, I will call it as bg and simply hit ok and press s for scaling option and unlink this then create one keyframe over here and go to around one second and create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this value zero and now we will check out this option again now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation now go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like that so we will get this kind of animation now we will add our ellipse so i am going to choose my ellipse tool and at this point i am going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this and increase the stroke until we will get something like this press s again and scale this thing and let's increase the stroke until it's covered the whole circle like this yep so as you can see at 216 uh, this covers the whole circle so now let's go to the start and now what we will do we will go to the content we will go to the add and we will choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this end property zero create one keyframe and go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this proper 100 now we will go to the ellipse we will go to the stroke and instead of butt cap i am going to choose round cap so we'll get something like this now select this go to the stroke and create one keyframe on the stroke width hit u now go over here again create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero and now if you see we will get something like this now select this layer press r for rotation create one keyframe over here hit u go few frame forwards i mean at the 1.15 frames and let's make this 180 so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes hit f9 and let's see what we will get we will get something like this now go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now we will go to 1.15 frames press v for selection tool let's move this over here hit ctrl d let's move this over here hit ctrl d again and let's move this somewhere around over here now select this middle one go to the stroke color and we will choose the darker version of the stroke like that select this one hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here and we will choose the different version of this blue like light blue select this hit ctrl d let's move this thing over here and we will choose a different version of the blue like that hit ctrl d let's sorry select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here make sure that it's gonna cover our entire uh, what we call composition we will choose something like like this hit ok select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here and we will choose the darker version of this one so if you see this animation from the start we will get something like this now we will select all of them go to the start zoom in a little bit and go to around 10 frames 
press alt and open close bracket right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok zoom out and we will move this up to over here so we will get something like this now we will go to the effect and presets panel and in the search option we will type wiggle position like that so if you see we will get something like this now this is the one method where you can uh, adjust them uh, line wise or if you want then you can simply move them at the start again with the help of open bracket and now after this white portion goes full you can select all of them let's move them over here and you can adjust the animation portion randomly like this so if you see now we will get something like this as you can see yep now there is another thing you need to do select any one of them hit ctrl d i'll bring them over here press s and let's scale them like this and choose some different version of this color like this hit ctrl d again select this hit ctrl d let's move them over here and change the color of them like that and you can move them over here these are just little bit of additions for what let's see yeah as you can see we will get something like this now select any one of them suppose i'm going to select this one first and let's click on this one icon and press ctrl k to open our project settings and in background color choose white color hit ok and hit ok right click go to the option called layer styles and i am going to choose bevel emboss and simply click on it go to the bevel emboss options and increase the size to 30 and increase the softness full let's increase the size again and in the color shadow color i am going to choose uh, let's say this bluish color like that and hit ok and if you see this we, as you can see we are getting this kind of shades over here after that i am going to select this layer styles over here and hit ctrl c to copy and let's disable this option again and select all the remaining shape layers and simply hit ctrl v to paste that effect also select this remaining four and hit ctrl v to paste that effect so if you see it will take a little bit time to load because this is quite a heavy effect let's choose quarter resolution like that so we will get something like this hit you now select any one of them go to the if draw effect and presets and search for drop shadow effect simply click on it go to the drop shadow let's increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 300 in decrease the opacity not don't decrease but in the color we will choose bluish color and hit ok select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all the remaining one and simply hit ctrl v so we will get this drop shadow effect also like that so as you can see we will get this kind of stuff now we will create one text animation so choose our text tool and type whatever text you want i am going to type typography hit ctrl a and font i am going to choose oswald font you are free to choose any font you want but make sure that font looks good i am going to choose let's say regular version of this font let's increase the size of it select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like that go to the start and now i am going to select this option again and hit ctrl k again to open our project settings and for the color i am going to choose black color hit ok and hit ok now we will focus on your our text first so go to the text go to the animation and we will choose position but before that let's select this text and we will go to the paragraph and we will choose left align text now press ctrl alt home then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now we will go to the animate we will go to the position 
and in range selector position we will move this downwards go to the range selector create one keyframe at the end and let's see what will happen let's delete this keyframe and create one keyframe at the start go to around 1.15 frames and let's make this 100 so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of text animation now go to the add menu go to the property and we will choose tracking let's decrease the track like this so we'll get something like this go to the add menu go to the property and choose blur and increase the blurriness value go to the add property and go to the opacity and let's make this opacity zero so if you see we will get something like that yeah if you want then you can decrease delete the blurriness like this and as you can see if you go to the property there are so many properties if you want to try you can try all of them right now i'm going to try this one only now select this text hit ctrl d select the second layer press s for scaling option and scale it like that go to the character menu and for the font i'm going to choose extra light and i'm going to increase i mean decrease the distance between those alphabets select this uh, text press ctrl alt home again go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the character menu i am going to delete this fill i am going to choose the stroke like this so i'll get this beautiful stroke in the background like that now select this second layer press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 50 now i am going to select the second layer press p for position and i'm going to move this over here create one keyframe over here and go to around 8 seconds selection tool and i'm going to move this from here to here so if you see this animation we will get this kind of text animation now we will disable these options we will select those layers and we will move them over here now i want at that point <coughs> let's make this quarter resolution like this now as you can see we have this extra shapes so we will move them over here so they will come on the text so it will give this animation quite a 3d look like that so with the help of this technique you can create some amazing background and elegant looking text animations now right click uh, sorry not here but here right click new and create one null object select both the text make it parent with this null one select this null one go to the around somewhere over here press s for scaling option create one keyframe go to around over here and let's make this 90 so we will get the scaling down effect also for our text like that so yep this is how you can create this elegant text and create you can create this kind of background for your animation so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next lecture so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned